Hey chums, it's Will of DA Games, and uh, yeah, Flash Drive was a thing. It came out last week, and who'd have thought that I'd be able to make songs like that in an hour each? It's, it's pretty insane. And the fact that it was over in five days is nuts. Um, and the support for it's been absolutely unbelievable. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for it. But I figured I'd use this video to talk about a little more about what Flash Drive really means to me and what it might mean to everybody else. As you probably gathered by all the thumbnails, all the titlings, and etc., it's about colors. Ooh, the funk. And more so about the color reflecting an emotion as part of a huge rainbow that we all feel. And I kind of felt like I did this in. <laughs> I thought of the idea just in a quick flash. It was, it was really weird. And I thought, well, actually, no, I got onto something here. This is cool. A lot of you have made your own interpretations in terms of what the colors mean to you and what the lyrics, per se, mean to you. Um, and that's the whole point of this album, is to help you explore and help you learn these colors and, and help you expand them. Maybe maybe it might help you learn somebody else's emotion at the same time. Depend, like, learn their color, learn their emotion, how they react. Might help some things out. But I know from at least my end, uh, black... Let's start, let's just start off with that color. And you might be thinking, but black, that, that's just not a color. Probably the same people who say green isn't creative, but hey, I just proved that wrong. No, no in all seriousness, um, no, I, I consider black to be part of the canvas. I mean, you've got red, yellow, green, blue, purple, you know, the, the, the normal colors that you'd see in the rainbow. But if you think about the galaxy, you need a bit of light to be able to see what's in the dark. So those two contrasting together allow these colors to show up, so. I wanted to do it so that I made a song every single day. Uh, in all seriousness, it's like every day of the week was filled, and I didn't think there was enough for the rainbow. And it felt like orange contrasted too much with yellow. It felt like a transitionary color as opposed to a prime. And the same could sort of be said about purple, but you can sort of end it off at purple as it approaches pink. You know, it's, it's a really weird one. But obviously I chose the seven colors that suited me personally, and I guess we just start off with black. When you think black, you think like a, a null and void space, like absolutely nothing, desolate, hopeless, just nothing. Some say that's the belief of when people die, like they don't go to heaven, uh, they end up just staying in a black null and void. In fact, that's actually what my dad believed in. My dad thought that um, when he was going to die, it was just going to be a completely black space. And fair enough, you know, that, that's kind of what people see, it's just emptiness. For me, it was more destructive. It felt like um, even in silence, things can be very destructive, and that's not even in the case of, you know, just general boom, explosion, kapow. That's more metaphorical, if anything. I'm talking about, like, anxiety, I'm talking about uh, depression, paranoia, all of these things that creep up on you when you least expect it in the silence. The lyrics sort of mention how these anxieties and these paranoias end up destroying you on the inside, if you allow them to keep going. Sort of a survival of the fittest kind of thing. If you're too weak against it, it's gonna bite you in the bone and it's, it's, you're probably gonna disappear. And that to me was the rebellion of black. That's what I see in that color. So again, already there's two different spectrums. Empty, null and void, or destruction and silence. Either one. Next for me was purple. And I feel like red starts off the canvas of a rainbow. That's usually how it goes. But for me, I wanted to start off from the very end to sort of a story of what you get to feel at the end, and that story doesn't come without its beginning, which is red. Again, as you follow, black's destruction, white is light, and you go in this repeat, rinse, repeat cycle, but when you get sucked into that black space, you kind of need to be calm first before anything can go wrong. First up is purple, and I kind of feel like with purple, that one was a very calm one to me. I think of purple as lavender. So relaxing, very calm and therapeutic. I see aromatherapy baths go around and even the lavender flower. And if you haven't noticed upon bias, it's kind of my favorite color. But it always reminds me that I'm in a very peaceful place. And I, I associate the, my favorite fruit as a grape. You know, the purple grapes that you get. Those, those are the things that kind of remind me of a forest. And so when I thought of these lyrics, I thought of being in a tranquil lake with Tons of lavender flowers sparking these multicolored flames of rainbows just in a nice soothing aromatherapy lake And it just feels like the most calmest place in the world and in it It helps me reflect on the things that are most important to me, which is the safe people, you know if My girlfriend for instance, I love her beyond absolute shadow of a doubt I need to get to her and that's the sort of the purple calm which helps me work on this stuff I'll talk about my girlfriend in a second, like, as soon as I've gone through all of these things, because it's very important, is this. But before that, obviously, a lot of people associate purple with, um, I don't know, esports? 
<laughs> I guess, or cool. I, I always notice that purple seems to be the kind of color that everybody resonates with. I don't know about you, but I find that purple is a pretty, if it's not loved, it's at least liked. So I mean, that kind of color stands out for me a lot. Next up is red. Any time during a calm breeze, you can be susceptible to a lot of different things that set you off. And red to me associates with anger. It's a fire inside you, it's angry. Or like the red cape that you pull up where the bull sort of charges for it. It's always associated with aggression in my opinion. For others, it might be seen as the clickbait color. Who knows? But in the lyrics, I try to identify anger in the most aggressive way. I couldn't make it like black where it was completely full on fast and destructive. It needed to have a little bit more variety than that. With anger, you can't really afford to go like super, super hellbent crazy. You gotta like have this middle ground where it's just beefy. It proves that you can be beefy without being so fast. You can be slow and heavy, you know? It's, and that's what I really wanted to encapsulate with this. Also that soaring feeling of just standing up in the mountains and just being like, can't fucking do this. You know, it's, it's, it's one of those that's why I did red. After red, we have yellow, which for me is like the sun. I see the sun as a very passionate kind of burning, a very prideful, very out there, very ready to take it all on kind of color. For some, yellow might be the yellow stop sign in red, yellow, and green, like on standby, which I don't think the lyrics necessarily entail standing by, but I mean, if you find a lyric in there, then sure. But that to me is what the yellow is, is prideful. With every pride comes with toxicity. People are so willing to pull you down when you're at your highest and they do it out of no sheer effort. They do it without zero care. They do it with absolute malice. Green to me is the encompass of people telling you that they can do better for the other person that they're friends with, etc. And also think that they have the overall power to just steal things and just do whatever they want with them. It's that toxicity that just pulls you through, pulls you through, and it, without any reasoning to it, they just attack full frontal. So these are the kind of things, green I consider sewage, like toxic sludge in a way. I don't see it in an apple. You know, a lot of people associate green as in the grass or apple. But to be fair, green being grass, depends on the kind of grass, can be poisonous, which can be fair. I'm, I'm just making excuses at this point, but green to me is the sewage system. That's where I find the toxic people lurk. They're underneath the sewer and they crop out and they just grab your wallet and then just run. Like that happens in any sort of relationship or any career or any business. You know, there's always a chance for that to happen. We, you just got to pull through and let them know that it hurts, but in a way that's very like avoided. It kills them if you ignore them, so it's quite funny. Now, blue to me is like, because uh, some people associate blue with sorrow or sadness. Not me. I, I generally associate it with the sky. All the water combined, but like, I see it, most of my time is spent up in the air, <laughs> like on an airplane, whether that be theoretical or actually physically in the air. I'm always traveling to different places, and I always feel that soaring adventure coming along. I'm like, yep, I want to go. I want to fucking speed up, get up there, and land to go see the person that I want to see. And that's, in most cases, my girlfriend. Of course, I want to meet you guys, too, if I ever go to a convention. And, you know, I want to meet my best friends, too, but my girlfriend is my joy. I, I, I definitely do that. As well as, like, soaring on a summer day to go see my daughter. That's another thing as well. She is the most prideful person in my life. I, I generally like the adventure, and that's what I see in uh, Blue. And that's why I made the song a little more soaring, a little more epic, but not too epic, I guess. Well, maybe it might be. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I That's a guilty pleasure song for me. That's actually my favorite one. It's funny, once you've gone through all of these different emotions, you sort of find that light. It's like it's not perfect, but it's embracing. And that's what I felt white was. It was a sweet little outro of being able to go through all of these emotions and all of these different things to become the living embodiment of who we are as people. And we go towards that and accept what we have and use it to learn and use it to progress in life. And that's what I associated white as. But that's obviously where it ends with you guys. For me, it means a hell of a lot more. And I wanna pull up the, um, the physical album for a second because there's a little paragraph inside there. And for those of you who got the physical album, thank you so much for supporting us. That is amazing. Also, thanks for keeping it on the down low. That's pretty cool too. I wanna get to the part specifically that, uh, your reason kind of why I made this album. 
Finally, I made this album for that special someone in my life. Our anniversary isn't too far away, so this might be an early present, haha, <laughs> sorry. Uh, for the longest time, we've dealt with a whole array of emotions and complications. Each of the colors has come out one way or another. We both have several mental illnesses, with me having Asperger's, anxiety, depression, and PTSD, with her having depression, anxiety, and ADHD too. You'd think this would be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode, and that's, that, just before, that's usually the case with, like, combining two different mental illnesses together. Sometimes they will clash, and might not always work, but I guess we wanted to prove different. But we've projected this explosion into a long-lasting relationship. This is to help educate us both on what emotions are, what colors mean, how we can use something exciting as an opportunity to learn much more about each other and continue love forever in a day. So my challenge with colors uh, was to try and learn my girlfriend a bit more and for her to learn myself a bit more. Sophia has been a long-lasting love for me. And while we've been through our struggles, our friends have seen it, our families have seen it. it, it many, many would assume that we would just up and do, uh, up and gone, but I want to try. And this album is something that I've wanted to make in the form of we can learn each other. This was, it's sad because I kind of feel like this isn't just subjective to my girlfriend. This is family and friends and strangers, just everybody. Nobody listens to me unless I make a fucking song. And I hate that. I want to be able to actually say words instead of having to put it into a song. But there's a saving grace behind it is I love making music, so I will always use music as an opportunity to speak my mind or be able to find a way to embrace it a bit more emotion. And I felt like this was a great combination of I need to make more music this year, so I want to challenge myself and increase the speed of how long it will take to make a song, both with heart at the same time, and also be able to like try and learn people and try to learn my girlfriend as a whole. It seems to have worked. It, this is me trying. This is us trying. And we're trying to implement brand new and creative ways to help us do that. Because I don't think sitting down in front of a counseling therapist will tell you that, that you're going to be okay. Usually it'll just end up being gray. But if you have... Ah, see what I did there? <laughs> I accidentally did that. But if you have color, if you bring color to life, I, I honestly feel like that's the saving grace of it all. And that is exactly why I made flash dry. Now again, for you guys, it ends at the fact that there's emotion and there's color, but don't take just my relationship for as an example. Use your own. If you have people in your life that you are struggling to understand, use this album as a way to find out what color resonates with them. Because this isn't the full gospel discography of what colors mean. There's no real way to tell what a color is in terms of how you perceive it. Some people see yellow as happy. Some people see yellow as puke. Red with anger. Red with excitement. Blue as sorrow. Blue as sorry. Green as in the peaceful green fields or the toxic sewers. Everything has color. And I think color is a very, very, very important part of our perception. It helps us learn and understand each other. And from what I've understood, it sounds like a lot of people have been resonating with this. I like to teach. I, it's just a guilty pleasure. I like to put people on the right path and the right focus. On a subjective level, I know I'm not going to always be right, but it's an aim. I just want to help learn. I hope that I've done it at least with this album. I know I'm, I'm rambling on, but this, this project meant a lot to me. And I've done a lot of projects that are very passionate. This one had all of my passion. This felt like build armor, like, it felt like I did Build Our Machine seven times. Because that was like, it, there were, obviously it wasn't made in an hour, but the energy of non-stop work. And the challenge was to do it in seven days. I finished the album in five because I started it on Wednesday. The first clip was done on Wednesday when it wasn't even fully finished. And I lasted through until the physical album's release in the previews. So five days to be able to do something like that, it's pretty cool. Do I think it could have been better? Obviously anything is better when you work more on it. So maybe it did, maybe maybe it could have been, but for what I have, I don't regret what I have because it's it's perfect for me. I honestly really love the album and I hope there's people out there who enjoy it just as much as I do. And if they don't, maybe they can at least understand the, the premise behind it. And if they don't agree with that, then I mean, it's whatever it was. It was a project that I felt happy about. I'm not gonna always make everybody happy, but if I can at least bring color to somebody's life, then it might as well be now. Anyway, I'm gonna get going, got a lot of work to do. If you like what you saw here, click like and subscribe, check for Fence of Family, maybe your dog. Check out DA Games Official on Twitter for the newest information on music, animations, let's plays, and live streams. I'm Willa DA Games, and thanks for at least enjoying the journey uh, for Flash Drive. Might not have been perfect, but what's a perfect rainbow at the end of the day? Nobody is. But you're perfect in your own way. And of course, I'll see you very soon. Peace out!